Hello Zimbabwe, what's good, what's popping? Welcome back to yet another episode of Rising Stars. I'm your host for today, my name is Nadia MTC. We're here to bring you all the best local talent from within Zimbabwe to the world. Today we're joined by the dynamic talent Machingura. We're so excited to have you. Welcome to the studio, talent. Thank you so much for having me. So um, guys, Talent Machingura is a very dynamic, multifaceted um, young man here in Harare. Not only is he a music producer, he's a video director, he's into logistics, he's into advertising. Whatever you can think of, he's the man for the job, he's an entrepreneur. Um, Talent, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Who are you? What do you do? Okay, um, as she said, I'm Talent Machingura, uh, but they call me Talent. Uh, so Talem does uh, advertising, um, he's a video director, music producer, and also um, I'm into a lot of businesses, so I would say I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. Oh wow, so talent or talent is into a lot of different things. While you're seated at home being unemployed, moping about how Muzimbabwe amunama bahasa here, amunama opportunities, someone is doing a lot of things. We're living in a time where people are so obsessed with uh, the multiple um, facets of income or, you know, people are talking about, I have six streams of income. Would you rather like to brag and tell us a little bit about how many streams of income you have at the age of 23, am I correct? Yeah, sure. Okay, so can you count us through um, the multiple streams of income <laughs> that a 23-year-old in Harare has? Okay, uh, well, uh, let me start with uh, the one I love the most, which is Talent Films. And uh, Talent Films, we do um, video productions. Uh, so, yeah, we've done uh, quite a number of productions. Mm -hmm. Like, we shoot adverts, uh, we shoot um, local films. Uh, let me just say, say uh, we shoot everything, a lot of stuff. Yeah. We've done productions at A on ZBC. Okay. Uh, we've worked with Nash TV. We have worked with, um, okay, a lot of production houses. All right, yeah. okay. So would you help me count? We have Talent Films, and then what is the advertising we company have called? Talent Films, we have Talent Advertising. Okay. We have Machungra Logistics. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so these are. Those are my main. Uh, my main companies. All right. Yeah, and also I'm into partnerships with other companies like Picket Media, okay. uh, Danwa Installations, Skyline Furnitures, and uh, we're still working on more uh, more business. That's amazing. So if you're here for inspiration, what Talent is simply saying is that you have no excuse to sit at home and say you can't do anything when someone here has multiple streams of income. So let's move on to the uh, following questions. Um, I'd like to ask a little bit about your background. You're 23 right now, am I correct? But when did you start um, getting into, you know, the whole idea of media and getting into the concept of entrepreneurship? How old were you? Okay, um, I was 16. Uh, uh, that was in 2014. Yeah. That's when I opened my first uh, recording studio. All right. Yeah. I, it's like when I finished my, uh, my phone four in 2018. Okay. So I started saving money, like okay. uh, during the long holiday. Then I, I bought like some uh, recording equipment. Oh wow! So I started um, with with the recording studio. Okay. Yeah, at the Wesley shops. Oh, yeah. oh wow! That's so pretty fantastic. From that recording studio, that's when I I fell in love with uh, video production. Okay. So I started by doing like music videos, uh, from music videos to uh, weddings, to uh, other events, adverts, and. That's, that, that was also a thing uh, which led to talent advertising. Okay. You know, we started dealing with companies like Delta, Shimoku, um, EcoCash, uh, Stuart Bank, uh, a lot of companies, Doves, and yeah. All so right, okay. I thought it would be an idea of opening like talent advertising, the advertising part, yeah. All right, that's pretty intriguing. Um, as I was speaking to Talent before the, you know, the whole show, he was telling me about how Can you tell us a little bit about your father and how he was also involved um, in, in terms of the media and how you found the camera at home and decided, let me just start. Okay, uh, well, my father used to do film. Uh, he did films in, in South Africa and Mozambique back then. 
he was more like a prop guy. He was the props manager for my mama films. I also saw my pictures behind the scene. He was also part of Sarafina, the South African film. So Ndoka Kamba was a the media side, like the filming side. Oh, wow. Then my mother is a businesswoman. Ndoka know for the business side of talent. All right. Okay. Okay. So what it's I'm getting. Like combination. Oh wow. Okay. So your dad and your mom contributed to who you are today, yeah, sure. though a little bit indirectly or directly. I think directly <laughs> was. Yes. Uh, we used to have a transport company. Okay. For, oh, yeah. so that's where the logistics part comes from. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So let's uh, continue and move on with the questions. All right. Um. So when we were asking you or trying to get a little bit of background knowledge, we found out that you didn't go to college and we'd like to know why. You know, a lot of kids are out there asking themselves, should I go to the UZ? Should I go to MSU? Should I go to CAT? What should I do? I don't want to do this. And then you took the bold step of saying, I'm not going to do this. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm just going to start. So take us through that process of maybe, you know, you deciding that you didn't want to go to college. How did that go? And what would you tell someone who's battling with that question? Okay, the thing is, um, I don't want to say college is bad, <laughs> uh, but it depends on the moon. In any, I, mm. I actually wanted to go to college. Uh, I wanted to go to, to class, actually, okay. when I finished. But then, Papa Nguitika liked my delays. So during those delays, I was that guy asking, I don't get us now, Mari. Then I started to go with my Yes. So, Papa ma those are assholes. She, Okay. Why not build my own school and employ my teacher? this. Why not try to teach in charge? Because the moment you're in your school, you are limited. Yeah, that's true. You, what you're only thinking about is working with someone work else. Yeah. yeah. Was after school, we much like a bus, and I think that when a few people and what even my friends, but not after school, we no tanga business. Okay. Uh, but then can also not go wrong. Katiga, you will fight up with the business rate. Mm. Which one? That's really easy. Business is not easy. You can spend like four, five years, even ten years without eating. Can I say can I end about ten because Let's say you're in business, right, about drilling. Okay, soon you talked about drilling. That's oh, why yeah, it yeah. came. What is about <laughs> drilling? Yes. Eh, uh, about 10,000 hours. You have to buy equipment to right, drill up. How can you save $10 to buy shoes? Because my mind, my woman, you would know I need this equipment. I need that. I need yeah. that. Yeah. Because you would not grow. So, when I end up with you, you are limited. All right. That's what I think. Okay. So, in India, I'm going to like, I actually wanted to go, but then, I got all words on the sign because I hate to call it number five. All right. But here we are. Yeah, sure. Mm, all yeah. right. Yeah. Wow. All right. So you you you're hearing him speaking about how he didn't go to college. Now you're wondering because your parents have told you that education is the key. It's the only key. But he's over here and he's been working with um, you know multiple companies, really big companies. Can you take us through the projects that you have done? Um, who you've worked with? Um, as you know. Talent advertising, talent films, just to let people know that I'm um, actually, you know, a big dad. Okay, we've done some video profiles. They um Delta. Uh, we've done uh, my videos for Eco Cash, like in 2018 when they had uh, Chaka promotion. Uh, we were part of the guys that were doing the filming. Like we also provided drones for them. Then uh, we have done uh, projects here, Zano PF. Okay, yeah. okay. Recently we did the Zano the Jerusalem Challenge for the Youth League. Uh, we have, for my elections, we have provided them with uh, uh, some services. Okay. And even also MDC, we have done some productions for okay. them. We All do right. not uh, select. Okay. If you want our services, we, just call, we are not, yeah, we are not political. <laughs> we, just, we just provide services for, for people. Then uh, we have done for, um, a lot of movie production special class okay we have, we have done special uh, yeah, i was part of the uh, special class production yes. yeah the production team uh I was part of zim made in fact i was the director of zim made the director of last number the director of uh, boys the Toners, the director of the crash and um the editor of uh 
what is it called? I forgot. It's <laughs> this film which was wrote by a, a young girl. She was actually eighteen. Oh. And I was nineteen by then. So okay. she 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 wrote a movie. Then I I did the editing. Yeah. So it was more like a thing for youngsters. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're getting from this particular interview today is that you have no excuse. At 23, Talent has been working with big brands like Equal Cash. You actually do not have an excuse. All right, so let's move on. Um, let's speak about your expansion um, as Talent, as Talent Advertising, as Films. You know, you started in 2016. Um, you started using... Uh, no, 2014. 2014. Wow, 2014. I was 14 at that time. You started using a camera from home. But how have you expanded? Uh, you were telling us about drones that you now have. Tell us about your business ethics so that you get to the place that you are in right now. What did you do differently? What was the process like? Let the people know. Okay, personally, um, I think... Kind of business and... I think when you come with your like something like my guts. Alright. Because the way I started in the Gaudzawan, people think I'm a motivational speaker. Risk taking. But, <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> some days you can go eat or do not stop. Just yes. you can go have any idea, just do it. And what? if you ask a lot of people, they'll discourage you. I'll tell you. And I think also I got like uh, and I try to shop and at an office mm -hmm. and ones were in two fifty, three hundred. Then if you ask people at home, I'll tell you, 300, you know 300? Mm. 300, was it like a year can you get 100? I know, and I said, I know if you got that amount, can I rent you a kumba and get 50? So, you know, but I ah, got better like 200, I got better like that, that amount. But I was going to say, I got to go to the other 1,000, you know, before I go back to around 200, you know, to the other 100, you know, to the other 100, you know, to the other 100, you know, you should also be aggressive, plus such a faith food. Above all, yeah. a lot of people are eager to know. Uh, you started in 2014, right, with a single camera that you found at home, and now you are, you know, talent films, talent advertising, you have drones and all of that stuff. Take us through the business ethics that got you to the place that you are at now. What did you do differently? What did you have that others do not have? What was driving you to get to the place that you're, you know, that you've gotten to? Can you just take us through that process? Um, if we start where you started, how can we become like you? Okay. Um, first, the first thing that I think, uh, uh, I'm fine with. I think you should have faith. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you put God first in everything that you do, I think you no know, work for beer. Because in the Tanga, Shinchandanga, and Dinacho, of course, I had a camera, but I didn't know that, but yes, yeah. Uh, was it Tingamoti Dagamoto a guy like office in town, mm. the Sina yeah, and the Sina Mariage, like any client and any promise I would see are now book out a wedding. wedding. So Dagana go with Pakas and Uber Dread deposit, then I use that deposit to pay for rent. Okay. Then, that, uh, they, then I opened a studio, but then uh, you know it wasn't easy the first month. You know, trying to get people to know you. Yeah, but, uh, to you know, yeah, a lot of support from from friends. And, right. Friends, you know, the the but then I think faith and hard work. All right. Then confidence. Yeah. My yes. My <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. You have to be very confident. You have to trust in the Lord with all your heart and everything will work out for you. Uh, we went on your Instagram page just to see who we're working with um, on today's show. And we saw that, wow, your branding is really amazing. What has been the power of branding in terms of your businesses? And have like, has branding gotten you anywhere? Have people contacted you from like simply how you're portraying yourself, how you're giving yourself off to the world? What is the power of branding because a lot of people are out there and they don't know that their power or their brand is their power can you just speak um a little bit on that okay i think uh branding is very important to to any company because in it of the one of what you are organized even if you are not yeah you know what's organized you can go presentation you're gonna go present your things yeah uh you know believe because the idea of business could believe is that like we can have the same services, like we can offer like the same service to a person. All right. But no trust. So branding, you know, wants a trust. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How? So, to brand your business, you another trust. So, so those are to advertising. We help my companies 
put a, a, a look at organized. All right, all right, all right. It seems we're going to take something from talent. If you know us, Blessed Media, that are bringing you rising stars, um, quality and excellence is our brand. So you'll be sure to trust us for all the best entertainment that you could possibly get. So on to the final question, talent. Um, we know of people like Aliko Dangote. We've watched um, Strive Must See, or we've watched these big businessmen grace the covers of Forbes magazine. Are you headed in that direction? Where are we seeing you in the next five years? Who uh, is Talent Machingura going to be in the next 10 years in Zimbabwe, in Africa, in the world? Could you tell us your plans? Okay. Uh, I would say Shenge may be doing competition every time I like food around. Mm. But I, I just want to live a, a comfortable life. Yeah, you know, that was one that was I just want to put pressure. So, right. yeah, I don't want to put much pressure on myself. <laughs> uh, I just want to, to grow my businesses, especially right. the logistic uh, side of it. Okay. Also, we want to move into construction, right. yeah, like I said before, and also maybe board really. Wow. But we're going to start with construction because currently we are supplying like building materials like pits and river sand, the water stones, uh, quarry dust. Yeah. So we will have uh, construction trucks, trucks like those timber trucks. And in terms of filming, advertising, where are we headed? Hollywood? Then uh, maybe we're going to create our own Zollywood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, from Zimbabwe. We're going to, yeah, it, it, it has been there, but we want to, to, to make it big. Amplify. Yeah, so we're going to maybe uh, engage other film uh, producers from, from other companies. Because the thing which, uh, that has been drawing back Zimbabwe is Kusabatana. Like, That's true. Because we're not going to watch it, we're going to watch pride. But we're not going to Yes, so Zelda was Google. Like, we know what you know what you know what you know what you pride. So, pride you know what 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 that person would think what you know 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 I'm sure to know to meet Africa. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. You know, but before we go, I think we've painted a, a, a very pretty picture of, you know, what talent is doing, but we also want to know the bad side of it. What challenges are you facing, you know, with COVID, with Zimbabwe? What's, you know, bothering you guys as talent advertising in logistics? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, my challenges are people like uh, Zimbabwe generally, if yes. you're a business person in Zimbabwe. Obviously, there are challenges, but uh, we try by all means to retire side the single and your complaint as Derek. Optimism. Then you have to, 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 to play with the right people. Uh, all right. Because they want to discourage you, know, people discourage you. Um, okay, let me give you an example. You can not think of Benz, you are going to ask. I'm going to charge you. So if you say Benz, you go now. Yeah, that's true. What do you think I want to fit on the... What do you think I want to fit on the gearbox? What do you think I... There's always a problem when it changes the job of it. Yeah, that's true. But you all can go figure out something. Just do it. So, obviously, you can ask for advice, but you are discouraged. You don't be discouraged. So, it's also even Zimbabwe, you can't go to the corner, you can't go to the corner, you can't go to the corner. Wow. Wise words from the dynamic, multifaceted talent Machingura. This has been Rising Stars, brought to you by Blessed Media. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and watch out for Blessed Media every single week. I've been your host, Nadia MTC, and would like to thank our guest, Mr. Talent Machingura, for joining us today, and see you next time. Cuts.
Thank you.